Sometimes in the world of spaceflight, a company makes a move so unexpected that it forces everyone else to stop and pay attention. That's exactly what just happened with SpaceX. For years, the company has been pushing the limits of rocket reusability, and every time it seems like they've reached the top, they find another way to raise the bar even higher. Competitors like Blue Origin are still trying to get the basics of booster recovery right, but SpaceX just pulled off something that changes the game once again. To really understand what makes this so important, let's take a quick look back at the way SpaceX has handled its rockets. Their Falcon 9 booster became the first orbital-class rocket to land back on Earth in one piece, a moment that stunned the world in 2015. At first, each landing was a major headline. Explosions were common during early attempts, but over time, landings became routine. Today, Falcon 9 boosters have landed hundreds of times, and reusing them has saved SpaceX massive amounts of money while giving them a competitive edge over every other launch provider. It's the reason they can launch more often and at lower cost than anyone else. When Falcon Heavy entered service, SpaceX took that same philosophy and applied it to an even bigger rocket. With three boosters strapped together, Falcon Heavy could lift payloads far larger than what Falcon 9 could handle alone. From the very beginning, the plan was to recover not just one, but all three boosters whenever possible. The two side boosters, which are almost identical to Falcon 9 first stages, quickly became familiar sites returning to land or the drone ship after missions. But the center core? That was a different story. Unlike the side boosters, the center core had to carry far more stress. It was heavier, had reinforced structure, and remained attached longer during the mission, which meant it came back down much faster and hotter. Every attempt to recover a Falcon Heavy center core ended in failure. Either the booster slammed into the ocean or missed the drone ship entirely. SpaceX proved that landing the side boosters was straightforward, but the center core was always seen as nearly impossible. That's why what happened this summer left the spaceflight community stunned. On August 11th, 2025, SpaceX took a Falcon Heavy center core that had been repurposed as a standalone Falcon 9 booster and launched it on a mission carrying satellites for Amazon's Project Kuiper. This was a mission designed to expand Amazon's own internet satellite network, a direct competitor to SpaceX's Starlink. But the real story wasn't the payload, it was the booster underneath it. For the first time in history, a Falcon Heavy center core successfully landed and was recovered for reuse. The rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral's Launch Complex 40 in Florida. Just eight minutes later, the booster touched down smoothly on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. For the first time ever, SpaceX had proven that a Falcon Heavy center core could be recovered. It was a sight that rocket fans had been waiting years to see. Why was this such a big deal? Because the center core was always considered expendable. Its extra weight and the harsh conditions it faced during re-entry made it impractical to save. SpaceX often chose to sacrifice the center core so that missions could carry heavier payloads. This time, however, the Kuiper mission wasn't especially heavy. That gave SpaceX the margin it needed to hold back some fuel for landing burns and attempt recovery. By using the mission as a proving ground, SpaceX managed to do something it had never been able to accomplish before. There's another layer to this as well. According to SpaceX's vice president of Falcon and Dragon, the plan isn't just to recover the booster once. It will fly a few more solo missions as a single-stick Falcon 9 before being returned to its role as a Falcon Heavy Center Core. This gives SpaceX time to build up flight experience with the hardware while customers prepare their next heavy payloads. In other words, instead of letting a completed booster sit unused, SpaceX found a way to keep it active and gather valuable data at the same time. During the landing, people noticed the booster's descent looked unusual compared to a regular Falcon 9. The entry burn was triggered much earlier, and at a higher altitude, a necessary step because the center core is heavier and needed extra time to shed speed before hitting the thicker atmosphere. That adjustment made the recovery possible, proving SpaceX can adapt its landing methods to different hardware. This success shows the company's approach clearly. It isn't about scoring a single win, but about creating a system that can be repeated and refined.
The Falcon Heavy side boosters have already flown and landed multiple times, and now the center core is showing signs it could join that cycle. If SpaceX manages to recover all three boosters on a regular basis, Falcon Heavy flights would become even cheaper and more reliable. At the same time, it keeps the fleet active and efficient while the company prepares for Starship to eventually take over most missions. Meanwhile, SpaceX's competitors are still catching up to the basics. Blue Origin finally launched its massive New Glenn rocket for the first time in January 2025, but its booster failed to land. They're planning a second attempt soon, hoping to nail their first recovery. Blue Origin has huge contracts lined up, especially with Amazon's Kuiper project, which needs dozens of launches. But until they can land and reuse their boosters, they'll remain at a disadvantage compared to SpaceX. Other companies around the world are also chasing reusability. Rocket Lab is working on reusing its smaller electron rocket and preparing for the debut of its bigger neutron rocket. Stoke Space is developing Nova, a fully reusable medium lift rocket. Firefly Aerospace, Relativity Space, and several Chinese startups are all testing recovery methods of their own. But none of them are anywhere near the level of routine reusability that SpaceX has achieved. To put it in perspective, SpaceX has now landed and recovered boosters nearly 500 times. That number is staggering. A decade ago, the idea of even one successful landing was seen as science fiction. Now SpaceX treats it as normal. The secret to their success has been a willingness to fail over and over again until the system works. Explosions, crashes, and missed landings were all part of the learning process. Each mistake provided data that eventually led to today's results. This mindset goes all the way back to the earliest days of testing. Before Falcon 9 ever landed, SpaceX experimented with a small rocket called Grasshopper. It only made short hops up and down, but those hops taught engineers how to control a booster using its engines. By the time Falcon 9 attempts began, they had already learned enough from Grasshopper to make real progress. And in December 2015, they made history with the first successful Falcon 9 booster landing. From that moment on, the pace of progress accelerated. Each year brought more landings, more reflights, and more proof that rockets didn't have to be thrown away after a single use. The idea of a reusable orbital rocket went from impossible to normal in less than a decade. And now, with this latest achievement, SpaceX has proven they're not done pushing boundaries. So what does all of this mean for the future? It means that while most companies are still struggling to do what SpaceX mastered years ago, Elon Musk's team is already moving to the next level. By recovering a Falcon Heavy Center core, they've unlocked a new capability that makes their system even more flexible. They can squeeze more life out of boosters, cut more costs, and keep their lead in the global launch market. It's not just about bragging rights, it's about staying so far ahead that no competitor can easily catch up. In the end, this latest success is a reminder of how SpaceX operates. They never stop at what's comfortable. They keep raising the bar, making each achievement look routine before moving on to the next challenge. While others are still proving the basics, SpaceX is already working on the advanced levels. That's why this recovery matters so much. It's not just about landing a single booster. It's about showing the world that the hardest parts of rocket engineering can be solved and then turned into a repeatable process. And that's exactly why this moment will be remembered as another turning point in the history of reusable rockets.